we got to see seals. Yeah. Yay! Victoria, by the way, if you wonder where the hell we are. Yeah. Do you ever wonder what the locals do in the places you travel to? Then this video is for you. We explore some of Victoria, BC's secrets and hidden gems that are not many tourists know about. We are in Isuk Regional Park. Regional so Park. It's just this huge, many hectares of land, and there's tons of trails in it. And we're heading to one that goes to the beach to overlook the ocean. And I guess you can walk along the jagged edge, and there's coves and things like that. So we're gonna go and go and check it out. We haven't been here before, and it's just outside Victoria, like half an hour drive or so, 40 minutes maybe tops. Yeah. So you can get to it super easy and I'm just gonna go hang out and you can hike, run, whatever you wanna do. I can hear the ocean. Is it an open ocean? No. I think we found a hidden gem. I think it's a local spot. It's a local spot, don't tell anyone. <sighs> They'll get mad at us for telling. So I don't know if you noticed, but there's there was an otter there and a seal out there and the water here looks like the water in Australia. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. <laughs> Honestly, and I we've traveled we the world. Say that in 95 no, 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 no. This is like But no, that's the purpose of our videos is to show you the most beautiful places. What is this? People writing their names. Is the wall soft? No, it feels like rock. But why do I need to feel it? Hold us. It's sand! I think I'm gonna build my house right here. And that is my backyard and that is my view. And I think hopefully whales will swim by every day. I know seals do. And my husband does. <laughs> East Soup Regional Park features 50 kilometers of trails through forests, marsh, and fields, pocket beaches, rocky bays, and tide pools for exploring and scuba diving. All the places in the world, I'd have to say Vancouver Island has most to do for someone that's active, likes to be in the outdoors, more than just the beach, and you got mountains, you got the ocean, you got just everything, I mean, there's lakes, you can just, you can spend your whole day outdoors here, almost all year round, I mean, the weather here, it's almost perfect. Love this place, gotta check it out. Just a short drive from Souk is another couple of hidden gems. Let's go, what's this place? Uh, what is it called? It's called Shir Shirley. Shirley Delicious. Shirley. It looks like a cute little cafe on Pacific Marine Drive, um, just outside of Souk in a town called Shirley. It's supposed to be like super good. Super good. Oh my God, you guys, the food is so amazing here. I got the veggie hash. You got cauliflower soup, and it is so good. It's made from scratch, homemade. It's great atmosphere here. Awesome music, really cozy. Great artwork on the walls. Friendly service. I am so excited about being here. And the uh, coffee tastes like hot chocolate, soy latte, no sugar. You have to come here. I love it in here. Good pick, Kathy. After your delicious meal, you can go down to another beautiful spot just 10 minutes away. You gotta walk this trail to get to the lighthouse. We're not even sure if we're going to the right place, but uh, yeah. We just got out and started walking. Yep. <laughs> Look at this behind me, guys. This is uh, Sheringham uh, Lighthouse built in 1911 and it is gorgeous and we're the only people here so we love off the beaten path and here we are this lighthouse was one of 12 built to help stop ships from sinking before it was built this area was known as the graveyard of the pacific with over 240 documented wrecks how many places do you see peacocks in the middle of the road he's so cute he's cute we had to film him move along buddy all right we're going for a bike ride today on 
Take a look at the little trail. Outside trail. Outside. Where it goes all the way to Sydney by the sea. That way. So we're going through Saanich and we're going to see the ocean and hopefully the kids won't fight and we're going to pick some blackberries along the way, right? I think you'll get like three or four wishes. Yeah, I know. The kids, kids always fight. fight. <laughs> Lockside Regional Trail is popular for commuting plus a perfect way to enjoy a lazy ride through the farmlands of the Saanich Peninsula. A little cookie stand and um, it's on the honorary system so they sell like <coughs> chocolate chip peanut butter it looks like that sometimes they sell scones you either put your cash there or they accept e-transfer so they're relying on people being honest I think that's awesome hopefully it's not poison right <laughs> yeah. there seems to be deer everywhere on the island and bikes not the nicest park in the world, but nice view. Why? There's stairs down Just right cement there. blocks and that. Yes, operator? Can you take me back to 1980? <laughs> right in the heart of Victoria is Fort Macaulay, which consists of remains of old World War II naval gun batteries. This is cool. All these old Canadian military bunkers from World War II. It's all there. They're in really good shape. Sea Esquimalt. Yeah. Big Vancouver Island, just on the corner. I, didn't, I had no idea these were here. Like, we've been coming here for years. Wow. It's fun to see history. Couldn't imagine how big the gun would be to fit in here. Look at all those bolts that they had to put on our studs. It's crazy. Fascinating time, World War II. Just a short walk from Fort Macaulay is a secret spot to see seals. The Squamal Angler's Boat Launch is surprisingly a must-see spot if you love wildlife. We went here every night. We're on our morning seal visit in the neighborhood that we're in and the, oh, he just took off, but that's, that's the little baby seal, little pup, he sleeps. And then his mom watches and then about five minutes later, he wakes up and swims and bugs his mom. You're looking for food, aren't you? Fish? So a couple of fishing boats just come in and what do you know? All the seals come running in. I guess they like to get a bit of food. What kind of fish is that? I think it's salmon. Oh, I've been craving salmon so bad. Well, just go in the water with the seals over there and you can have some. Yeah, that's just, gonna happen. Is that a good yeah, idea? For sure. <laughs> do you see your buddy? Yeah. Right there. He's just sitting there. Don't feed them if you come here because it's a huge fine. I think it's like $500,000. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Good job, Alice. I think you're coming now. <laughs> they're coming. Hey, it worked. Oh, oh look at him poke his head up. <laughs> hey, we're going into Fantan Alley. It is the narrowest bedroom what's it bedroom yeah. it's the narrowest alleyway in alleyway. canada actually and uh this is part of chinatown and uh victoria has the actually oldest chinatown in canada i looked that up and very surprising to me i thought it'd be toronto or something so really cool uh -uh. we all knew that but th it's so narrow like four feet wide you'll you'll see it when we go in there it's crazy Fantan Alley too. It used to be a narrow alley with all uh, gambling places and opium dens way years and years ago. And now it's got a lot of um, local shops, organic foods, homemade treats, uh, clothing, all sorts of things here. It's really, really interesting place to look at. We're at the entrance to the oldest uh, Chinatown in Canada here in Victoria. Who knew? Um, it's really cool. It's called the Gate of Harmonious Interest. And they actually say there's a time capsule in each of the outer pillars of it to be opened in 2081 and 2096. I just thought these were really cool facts. So I don't know if you know this about Kathy, but she loves 
<laughs> Interesting stories about funny houses. I don't know. What's so funny? Like, look at this house. Look at I only overheard one comment. Oh, that you there's, know. There's 37 different colors that made up this house. Fun fact. Yeah, she knows all about houses. So, what's so interesting about this house? Come on. I don't know. It has pretty flowers in front of it. You've been holding out on me, so <laughs> what's interesting about this house? This house was actually Emily Carr's house. Who's that? She is an author and an artist, and she lived in Victoria, and actually I didn't know that until now. I didn't even know she was from Victoria. She was born That's here, That's so right? awesome. Looks like you found some new friends. Yeah, I found my kind. Well, oh, chicken. Come here, chicken. We're in the middle of the city, by the way. And then That's a chicken noise. Chicken, how do you do duck? I don't know. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. There, see? Hey, it's my kind. He's talking to me. Well, we're off to say goodbye to our seal friends. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. If you're looking for an amazing spot with lots of stuff to do, then Victoria, BC could be the spot for you and your family. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that like button for more fun videos.